hello welcome once again to my channel uh, if this is your first time of viewing consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss anything coming from my works today we are going to discuss the mean median and mode of grouped uh, data okay so let the, because in the previous videos under my works on statistics we've dealt with the mean median and mode of ungrouped data but in this case you can see that this data they are grouped with their corresponding frequencies and we are required to get the mean, median and mode. As usual, we all know that mean, um, mean which is x bar, is something as summation fx all over summation f when the frequency is given. So let us make a table to compute the mean before we get to median and mode. So let's say we have a table like this. Um, where I have my score. The score or class interval um, so the scores are 1 to 10 11 to 20 21 to 30 31 to 40 and 41 to 50 these are the scores so after the scores we have the frequency which i can denote with f which is 2 3 6 4 and 5 Looking at the formula x bar, it is summation fx. So I need to get fx. But before fx, I have to get x. Whenever you have a grouped data, there is what we call x. The x is known as class mid mark. The mid mark. The class mid mark. And to get it, sum the um, class intervals and divide by 2. So when I say 1 plus 10 is 11, divided by 2, I'll have 5.5. .5. If I sum this, I have uh, 31. Divide by 2, I have uh, 15.5. Since this class is uniform, you don't need to waste your time to be adding and dividing. You can see that they are increasing by 10, 10. Therefore, just be adding 10, you have 25.5, 35.5, 45.5 ETC. You can as well check it out. You see that you get the same result. Then having done this, the next thing we need is our Fx because from the formula of mean, we have Fx. So F, we multiply X to give us what we require. <laughs> but before I continue, let me take some water. So 2 times 5.5 will give us 11. 3 times 15.5. 15.5. This will give me 46.5. 6 times 25.5. This will give me 153. 4 times 35.5 this will give me 142 and 5 times 45.5 this is 227.5 okay now to get my mean I need to sum up everything I'm having here that is my summation fx let me see what it will give me so I have 11 plus 46.5 Plus 153 plus uh, 142 plus 227.5. This will give me 580. Now, summation F. Sum of the frequency will be 2 plus 3 is 5, 11, 15, 20. This will give me 20. So here, my x bar, which is my mean, will now be summation Fx, which is 580 over summation f which is 20 0 cancel 0 so if i divide uh, 58 by 2 this should give me what 58 divided by 2 is around 29 so the mean is 29 so i've got the mean of this group to data so having got the mean let us go for the median um before i get the median i've got to give you the formula you use in calculating the median um median as a formula when it is grouped so it is l1 plus n over 2 minus cumulative frequency before the median class over frequency of the median class then times the class size so n over 2 is just the same thing as the sum of the frequencies cfb is the cumulative frequency before the median class take note then FM is the frequency of the median class, while C is the class size or class width, which I get all these things. Therefore, let us get the cumulative frequency. 
to get cumulative frequency it is just the sum of the frequencies the first frequency i have here is two so to get the other ones i will say two plus the next frequency three that gives me five five plus the next frequency six that gives me eleven eleven plus four is fifteen and fifteen plus five will give me twenty this 20 must correspond to your sum of your frequencies if not you've made a mistake that is the cumulative frequency so the next thing i need again is the class boundary the class boundaries class boundaries to get the class boundaries remove 0 0.5 from the lower class uh, interval and add 0 0.5 to the upper so i'll remove 0 0.5 from 1 i'll have 0 0.5 to add 0 0.5 to 10 it will give me 10.5 Remove 0 0.5 from 11, you have 10.5. Add 0 0.5 to 20, you have uh, 20.5. Remove 0 0.5 from 21, you have 20.5. Add 0 0.5 to 30, you have 30.5. Remove 0 0.5 from 31, you have 30.5. Add 0 0.5 to 40, you have 40.5. Remove 0 0.5 from 41, you have 40.5. Add 0 0.5 to 50, you have 50.5. This is how to get the cumulative frequency. Hence, from this, we shall now see that L1 is the lower class boundary of the median class. What is the median class? How can you get the median class? Um, you know that if it's the sum of the frequency is 20, and median lies in the half, n over 2, which is the same thing as 20 over 2, which is 10th value. So our median lies in the tenth value. So begin from down, up, or down, and count. Wherever you get near 10, you will fall in. That is your median class. For instance, 2 plus 3 is 5, not up to 10. If I add 6, 10 must fall in here. So this is my median class. I repeat again, the tenth value, because the sum of frequency is 20, divided by 2, because median is interested in the middle value. If you divide 20 by 2, you get 10. So the median must fall in, in the 10th class, which is somewhere here. Because 2 plus 5 is not up to 10. If I continue adding, the 10 falls in here. Even if I begin from here, 5 plus 4 is 9. If I continue adding, 10 will fall in here. So this is now my median class. Okay. So the lower class boundary, L1 means lower class boundary of median class. And this median class, this one is lower, while this is upper. Hence, my lower class boundary is 20.5. N over 2 means 20 over 2, which I have done there. It gave me 10. CFB means cumulative frequency before the median class. This is the median class. So cumulative frequency before this median class is now 5. So this is 5. FM is the frequency of the median class. This is the median class. And look at its frequency, which is 6. Class size is just the size of the class. How do you get it? remove upper from lower upper from lower if you do this subtraction it will give you 10 so my class size is 10 this is just what we plug in in this formula we get our answer so median we now be l1 is 20.5 i'll have 20.5 plus n over 2 is now 10 minus cfb is now 5 all over fm which is now 6 then times uh, 10 because C is 10. So I'll clean up here. So median is now 20.5 plus 10 minus 5 is 5. So we'll have 5 over 6, then times 10. 5 times 10 is 50. So median will now be 20.5 plus 5 times 10 is 50 all over 6. This is now 20.5 plus, so 50 divided by 6 will give me 8.33. So if I add together plus uh, 20.5, it will give me 28.3, 28.83. This is now my median, 28.83. That is where my median will fall in. Okay, so having got the median, let us proceed to get the mode because we have the mode left. I'll clean here. The formula for mode, mode, which is the number with the highest frequency, is just uh, um, L1 plus uh, data 1 over data 1 plus data 2, then multiply by class uh, size. That is just my mode. 
um, L1 is the lower class boundary of modal class. Data 1, what is the modal class? Modal class is the class with the highest frequency. And the 2, 3, 6, 4, 5, the highest frequency is still 6. So funny enough, or coincidentally, the modal class and the median class are the same thing because mode, we have the highest frequency. And this is where I'm having the highest uh, frequency. A minute. This is where I'm having the highest frequency. So this is my modal class. So L1 is lower class boundary of modal class, which is 20.5. So L1 is 20.5. Data 1 is the frequency that is above the modal class, which is 3. L1 is frequency. Data 1 is frequency above the frequency of the modal class, which is 3. Data 2 is just the frequency Okay, not just 3, the difference between them. So, data 1 will be 6 minus 3. The difference between the frequency of the modal class and the frequency above it, which is 3. While data 2 is the difference between the frequency of the modal class and the frequency below it, which is 6 minus 4, because 4 is below 6. This is giving me 2. And C is the class size as usual 10, because if you take the subtraction, you are getting 10. So, we plug them here to get our mode. So, mode... We now be L1, which is now 20.5, plus uh, data 1, which is now 3. Over data 1 again, we have 3, plus data 2, which is uh, 2, into C. C is 10. So I'll clean up here again. So the mode will now be 20.5, plus um, 3 over 3 plus 2 is 5 then times 10. Now, uh, 5 cancels that we are having 2. So this is now 20.5 plus 3 times 2 is 6. Adding up, it will give us 26.5. And this is our mode. So if you've enjoyed what you've watched, kindly subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything coming from my videos. Thank you.